Shalom in Christ Jesus. Today I have a question for you. Is there any area in your life where you've begun to settle? Are you settling for mediocrity when the Lord is calling you to greatness? Well, I just want to remind you that Paul shared with us in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the power that worked in us. And so I want to take just a few moments today to once again, I come before you each time to encourage you that God has more for you. And many times you begin to settle uh, because you become impatient with the process. And just when you're close, many times you start to think about giving up. You start to think that maybe you uh, imagined uh, more than God has for you. But once again, I'm reminded by Paul, the Apostle Paul, our brother in Christ, that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we could ask or think. It's according to the power that worketh in us. And so God is not limited by our imaginations. He's not limited by our thoughts. No, God is great. And because he is great and because he lives in us and because we have chosen to receive him, uh, through his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, we are redeemed, and so his greatness resides in us, and whatever God does is great. Whatever he does is for our good, is for his glory, and so he doesn't want us to settle. No, he doesn't want us to settle. That's not to say that we are to think more highly of ourselves than we ought. Paul also uh, taught us this as well, but it means that the Lord has more for us than we can imagine. He has more for us than we can ask. He has more for us than we can think about, uh, more for us than we can pray about, than we can dream about. And he's able to do it. He does exceedingly, he does abundantly. Above all, above all that we ask, above all that we think, because it's according to the power that worketh in us. Uh, when we think of power, we think of his Holy Spirit. Uh, his Holy Spirit dwells in the believer. And so the Holy Spirit works in us and through us and empowers us uh, to do what the Lord has called us and created us and purposed us to do in this life. So once again, I only come before you and I take a few moments to encourage you, uh, to, to, to just remind you of the goodness of the Lord, to remind you that the Lord has plans for you. Uh, in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, plans to give you hope, plans to give you a future. I, the Lord knows the plans he has for you. Uh, you may not know the plans that he has, but he has great plans for you, and he doesn't want you to give up. Never give up, never give up. Keep on moving, uh, keep on uh, progressing, uh, keep on staying before the Lord, uh, keep on uh, keeping those thoughts which are, are thoughts of peace and thoughts of love and think about things that are pure and think about things that are lovely and think about things that are just uh, think about those things that are praiseworthy think about those things that are of a good report think about the good things think on the goodness of the lord uh, you're reminded that when you think about the goodness of the lord you dwell in his presence because he is good god is good he's great almighty god dwell in his presence and you do that by keeping your mind stayed on him remember isaiah I will keep you in perfect peace, says the Lord, when you keep your mind stayed on me. You know I'm paraphrasing, I paraphrase. But you know what I'm saying, uh, that you are not to be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, just present your request to God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, that will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. So once again, you be encouraged, you stay strong, you keep moving, don't settle, and don't give up. I'll see you again real soon. You have a blessed, 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 blessed life. The Lord wants you to be blessed, and so do I. Okay, see you real soon. Take care.